looking for down there, man. There's no gold. I'm just showing you what a great manager you are, and you can cause desertification to turn into a pasture he's, paddock he's working in one cycle. Things that we need to do really to repair our landscape a multitude right across the, across the spectrum. Natural sequence farming is part of that and I do believe that we really need to start repairing a landscape with urgency here in Australia and indeed in many other places around the world. I think there's a rising tide and a readiness out there today to start to accept some of this change that is necessary in the way we go about business. My idea of the best way to rehydrate uh, Australian soils is that we incorporate the learnings of uh, Peter Andrews and his followers into a system that is taken through the highest levels of government and then propagated down to the advisors who are advising the farmers and then we look at ways of assisting those farmers to plant more trees, to look after the uh, loss of water from their farms and to increase the amount of hydration in the soils and productivity. If you look across the Australian landscape, there's slope everywhere, nothing's flat. There's slope everywhere, it's just a matter of scale and, and rate. I've just been at the Paris talks, just come back last week, and one of the side meetings was, there was a group of people looking at the cooling benefits of rehydrated landscapes. I nearly fell over myself when I found this group, and I thought we'd been talking, talking yeah, to ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My idea to uh, rehydrate Australia's landscapes is to provide direct uh, tangible incentives to all landholders uh, to retain moisture and productivity in the landscape which would be turning everything on its head because today there are incentives to drain, there are incentives to poison, there are incentives to remove biomass, we need the incentives turned on their head, even mandating retaining water in the landscape. We're talking about two things. <clears throat> One is official recognition through government programs and government um, funding of, of agricultural extension and agricultural activity. That's one, that's the proactive. The other one is reversing regulation that prohibits people from putting in place rehydration measures, which we've talked about before. The middle layer of all the departments of ag and academia, yeah. they're all in that old field of thinking yeah. still. And to, for the top to break down that bottom layer to come to the grassroots is very tough. I think there's a generational shift coming now. Rehydration of the landscape is not sufficient by itself. It has to go through the whole production system so we get good food, high quality food as a result. So we have to reduce the reliance on fertilizers, synthetic fertilizers and chemicals. And then we get better food quality, better landscape and healthier people. And that's all for a profit because we get far more dollars return for the inputs that we then, the reduced inputs that we then give. There's another answer to that too, Peter, which is legislation like the Environmental Protection Biodiversity Conservation Act does call it up already. It requires developers to deliver the maintenance of ecosystems that sustain life, quote unquote, doesn't happen anywhere, really. <coughs> so there's opportunities within the existing legislation to reinterpret that in favour of yeah. the land. Our program is to engage the city folk with the country folk and fix these landscapes that we're drying and draining at our peril. There are three elements that need to be implemented. First is to observe and understand the natural environment. The second is to create and uh, install and reinstate those functions. And the third is to apply land management practices. Without the first two, the third one will fail. With the first two, the third one will flourish. I believe it has to start with a commitment from government to call it something. Corridors are green or rehydrating Australia or whatever it is, land functions or whatever the name is. Um, there's a commitment from government to put tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, into a national or least and east coast program that we can manage between us. Um, obviously it's a, it's a huge program, but um, I think we're, we're poised at that point. I believe we need another government program or a corporate program that does address all these issues, hydrology, climate, carbon, um, loss of soil fertility and biodiversity. We can fix this. We now have a government that's well informed. We have the science, we have the pilot programs. All we need is the political will to make this program happen. I'm hopeful that in the next five to ten years this will start to really open up as the global community sees that food security is a huge issue. 
desiccation in Europe, desiccation of landscapes. I'm an engineer and I believe that the science for rehydration of the landscape has been well established. What we need to do in parallel is to set up a uh, construction authority, uh, something bigger than the Snow Mountains hydroelectric scheme, to implement all the improvements into the landscape. See, I've got three divisions. An accumulation zone, that's the one naturally accumulating out of the sunlight and atmosphere. If I cart this up, that's the same process as that doing it. So this is a filtering zone in between the same as the garden, I can have an agricultural process going on. But that's all I've got to do. I've got to filter this and take it up there and everything else is automatic. Just on the hill, just away from the... So that the lateral leaking is coming back to here. And as I build that up with a garden or whatever, and it doubles production, this will automatically double. It's amazing. I just couldn't believe it when I started doing it. There is no doubt that plants made this continent and the planet capable of people and animals living on it and the Australian landscape was the best possible example of how plants did that. So the evidence is irrefutable. We need every plant and we need to learn how to manage them the way this landscape done. So the science is sound, the ability to reproduce it is established and we just got to get on and do it. <laughs> Story about hey, Ray. I was going to say, hey, your dog is just rolling in the couch here. Oh, <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at oh, the, 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 the country dog. He's now a country dog. Now she's going to rub on everyone. Oh, y